of sites have gone um, to critical from 2017, uh, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia and uh, the islands and protected areas of the Gulf of California. Um, we've seen head in, in unfortunate directions. Uh, we're also seeing quite a lot of regional variation, um, which you know suggests a need for, for different approaches in different regions. Um, the assessment also looks at threats and unfortunately the threat environment is is increasing for these sites. They're being pressured from all sorts of different uh, angles. So all of the categories of threats that we assess, nearly all of them have um, increased in concern between the two assessments. Um, and of course, the, uh, you know, the big issue is now that climate change is the most pervasive of all threats and a third of all the natural sites are now showing uh, or assess as having impacts from climate change. So in 2017, climate change was the fastest growing threat to these places. Uh, and we'd seen a huge spike between the number of sites assessed as, as having impacts between 2014 and 2017. So unfortunately, we've seen that, I guess, translate in a, in a logical way to more and more sites, uh, you know, exhibiting those kinds of impacts, um, uh, you know, be it be it you know, more extreme fire events, be it uh, high mountain systems showing shifts in habitats, be it uh, you know, coral bleaching events, et cetera. I think um, there's, there's more awareness of uh, some of the visible impacts on the ground being seen at site level being attributable to, attributable to climate change. Um, so more awareness, but there's also more evidence, you know, there's been more studies done, there's more understanding, I think, of the vulnerability of these systems. Um, and, and the body of evidence, uh, you know, is unfortunately growing that that this threat is, uh, you know, all pervasive and, and having its impact on, on almost all types of ecosystems that are within these type these types of properties. The issues here, I think, show us, you know, what is at stake. Some things cannot be uh, adapted, cannot be mitigated against, and some things, once they're lost, you know, cannot be replicated. So these are, you know, the irreplaceable places on the planet that that are, you know, critical to all of our identity. And you know, it's it's both sad um, to, to consider the loss of these places. Um, but, but also very alarming in, in the sense of, you know, what can be done. So, you know, it's, it's unimaginable not to have places like um, Kilimanjaro and the Serengeti and, you know, the Great Barrier Reef. And, you know, even if these are places where 
people may have never visited, you know, they're really important collectively to our, our, our sense as human beings. And of course, you know, they also comprise some of the largest, most intact and connected uh, natural systems left on Earth. Thank you. 